salsa shine for you today that I'm sure you're gonna love. We'll do it on one and on two. Dancing on one. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One and two, three, five, and six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Dancing on two. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, and six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One. Welcome everybody, I'm Danny Kalman, professional Latin dancer and creator of dancechemistry.com, where we have salsa programs for you to do at home that are comprehensive, structured, progressive, and we really get into the details and drill with you to get proper and great salsa technique into your muscle memory. So I highly recommend taking a look at dancechemistry.com as well. So to break down this shine today, we're going to go through a lot of details here. So if it's your first time seeing something like this, great. If you have salsa dance experience, stick with me because probably we're going to cover some things that's going to give you new feeling and technique for your dance. So first thing that we have in this is a Suzy Q. I'll dance on one right now, but again, it's the same on one or on two. It's just the, the timing that's different. All right, so Suzy Q. So one, two, three. Five, six, seven. If you have any salsa experience, you probably know a Suzy Q. But let's look at some details here. Five, six, seven, and freeze on one. My toes relative to my hips are turned out, all right? So if I face towards you with my hips towards the camera, you can see that my toes are facing to the left on my left foot and to the right on my right foot. You always want to do that with your shines. Well, actually, with all of your dancing. So get used to turning your feet out, okay? Anywhere between about 10 to 45 degrees is good. You don't need to go way out 90 degrees like ballet or something like that. Just 10 to 45 degrees, okay? So let's go into the Suzy Q. You should be doing this with me also. So one, two, three. Let's do it again, just that much. One two, three, again, one, two, three, again, freeze on two, and one, freeze two, okay, look down, and I want you to check yourself, self-awareness is everything for progressing in your dancing, whether you're in a public class or practicing uh, at home, alone, or with videos, check your feet, left toes turned out, right toes turned out, and let's continue to three, three, Okay, let's do it again. And one, two, three. Again, and one, two, three. Are the toes turned out every time? One, two, three. Let's go to the other side. And five, six, seven. Let's do that much again. And five, six, seven. Or if you're dancing on two, it's one, two, three. Here we go. One, two, three. The steps are the same. And one, two, three. One more time. And one, freeze on two, freeze, two. Or this is a uh, six if you're dancing on one. <laughs> Check your feet. Are the toes turned out relative to your hips? That's what we're focusing on right now. And then continue to the right foot. All right, let's do the entire Suzy Q. I'll do it on one, so my left foot first. And one, two, three, continue. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, continue, check your feet, two, three, and five, six, just focusing on the feet, I'm not doing everything else in my body right now, and five, six, seven, again, one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and relax, good, just turning your toes out alone will make all of your shines look and feel better, it actually helps with balance also, Check this out. If your feet are straight like this, for example, this is like walking on a tightrope, but if they're turned out, your base of support is twice as wide, and suddenly, not only does it look better, but it's easier to balance. So turn out, turn out, turn out, really important. Now with the Suzy Q, there's two ways that we can actually do this. The first way, which is what I've been doing, is we just step through it. Step, 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 and step, step, step. It looks great, it's potentially easier, feels good, but there's another way that we can consider doing that, doing it, and that is to have more twist in our hips. So we can go twist, 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 
twist, twist, I'll face the camera. And twist, 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 twist. Okay, if it's your first time seeing this, I see with my local students that this tends to be a tricky one. So what I want you to do is I want you to grab a piece of paper or I have something here. Mail works really well. Something you get in the mail. All right, and I want you to put this between your legs, all right, between your uh, thighs. And I want you to cross your left foot in front of your right, make sure your toes are turned out on both the feet. And we're gonna go twist and twist, just for the sake of drilling. Twist, twist, across the floor, across, I'll turn around, the floor. Across the floor and across the floor. Across, 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 and make sure that paper stays suspended between your legs. Here we go. Cross and cross and cross and cross and cross and cross. Let's do it one more time. And cross and cross and cross and cross and cross and cross. Okay. Now, when I see people do this for the first time, it often looks pretty awkward at the beginning. That's okay. We're getting you used to twisting your hips and it just takes time to, to get a good feel for that. All right, and when you're doing it, now check this out. Make sure that your heels are lifted off the ground and we're always twisting on the balls of the feet. All right, ball of your foot is up here. So heels, we never wanna pivot from the heels, right? Uh, especially for follows, if you're wearing heels, you don't wanna put that kind of weight on your heel. You either break the heel or slide on the floor. All right, here we go. Twist, 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 twist. Other side, twist, 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 twist. Others, uh, let's do the right side again. Here we go. Twist, <laughs> twist. Twist, 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 twist. One more time. Twist, 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 twist. Okay? Let's try it without the envelope or the paper. And we'll do the whole Suzy Q. And twist, twist, twist. And twist, twist, twist. Here we go. Twist, twist, twist. Twist, twist, twist. Twist, twist. Twist and twist, twist. Let's go to the stepping version. Step, step, step. Step, step, step. So you see how there's just a little bit less movement in the hips? Step, step, let's twist. And twist, twist, you should be doing it with me. Twist, that's the whole point. And twist, 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 and twist, twist. Are your toes turned out? Twist, twist, twist. Are your heels off the floor? Twist, twist. Twist, twist, and twist, twist, twist. Other side, and one, two, three, and five. Just stepping, and step, 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 and step, step, and relax. <sighs> Very good. Okay, that was a lot of detail, just for a Suzy Q. <laughs> now, the upper body in the Suzy Q, what I'm doing is called Cuban motion, okay? Cuban motion is at the foundation of your Latin flavor for all of your salsa movement when you're dancing solo. Cuban motion has a lot of things going on. The rib cage is making figure eights horizontal, the shoulders are making circles backwards, while the elbows are making circles forward, and then the hands have to stay just in one plane, making, you could call it circles or figure eights in front of you, and then there's this little bit of movement in the hips also. There's a lot going on. Cuban motion takes time to learn. And I see this in my local students. We go over it every class and it can take months, years. It took me a very long time, uh, a couple years to start to get a Cuban motion, probably even longer. Um, so it just takes time and you have to break it down little by little, piece by piece and keep practicing it and progress it from easy to more and more pieces and more challenging. I do have a program at dancechemistry.com called the Salsa Solo Foundations Mastery program, which is where we give, uh, I give you a set of shines, foundational shines, and then cube emotion all broken down. And you practice these uh, little by little over time and then put it all together, the cube emotion with your shines. And the cool thing about it is once you have that cube emotion, you apply the same thing to all of your shines. 
So once you've got it, you've got it and you can apply it to everything. So if you'd like to go through that in detail and really get that into your muscle memory, go check out dancechemistry.com and check out the Salsa Solo Foundations Mastery Program. Okay, now the second part of this shine. We had ba 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 ba. Okay, so first the timing. So let's say we're dancing on one for a second. We're gonna go one and two, three. All right, let's do it again. One and two, three. Again, one and two, three. Again, one and two, three. Again, one and two, three. Or if you're dancing on two, that's five and six, seven. The and count is halfway between the whole numbers. So whenever we have a half count or a syncopated step in our dancing, it's gonna feel, it is twice as fast. So it's gonna feel fast when you're dancing. So it becomes ba, 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 ba. All right, just so you know. So let's count, and you should count out loud with me also. Here we go, together. One and two, step three. Weight should be on which foot? Left foot. Let's go other side. Five and six. Let's do that much again, five and six. Five and six. Now seven, we move our weight to which foot? The right foot. Here we go. Five and six. Seven's on the right foot. And five and six. Seven. Again, five and six. Seven. Or if we're dancing on two, it's one and two, three. Here we go. One and two, three. One more time. One and two, three. Okay, let's look at some other details to help this look really nice when you're doing it. First, when you step across, I want you to step so my legs are actually touching here, okay? So you're keeping the foot back. Or if I do it to the side, the foot's back here. Then with my next step, I step backwards a little bit. Now I stay in place and just extend the foot. So go in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. My right leg is straight or bent? Bent. My left leg is straight or bent? Straight. Okay, and my heel is touching the ground. There's no weight on it, but it's a straight leg. So let's try it together. And one and two. Okay, again, one and two, and one and two, and one and two. We're going to freeze on one. Let's do it again together. Freeze on one. Check your toes. Are they turned out? So check this out. Even though the legs are crossed, relative to my hips, the toes are turned out. My left toes are left, my right toes are right. That's turn out. You always want to have that in your dancing. Here we go. One and two. Now let's shift the weight to the left. Three. Let's continue. Five, so other side. And six. Again. And five and six. Again. Five and six. Again, if we're dancing on two, it's one and two. Again. One and two. Again, one and two. Again, five and six. Again, ba, ba, ba. Great. Let's check the angle of the hips. So I'll do that second part again. So ba, ba, ba. Where are my hips? One way you can check the angle is put your hands on your hips and then go straight and then you can see where your fingers are pointing. My hips are 45 degrees to the side if you're my partner, the camera. That's about where we want them to be. So let's do the same side. Here we go. Five and six. Pew, to the side. 45 degrees. And five and six. So if you're twisted like this or twisted to the front, let's fix it. Natural, 45. One more time. Five and six. Okay. Let's do the whole thing. Uh, the whole second part. One and two, three. Five and six, seven, one and two, three, 
and five and six, seven and one and two, three, five and six, seven and one, two, three, five and six, seven, one and two, three, five and six, seven, one and two, three, five and six, seven, continue, one and two, three, five and six, seven, one and two, three, five and six, seven, one and two, three, five and one more time, and one and two, three, five and six, seven and one. Why are we doing this so many times? Because muscle memory is everything. When you go down on the dance floor, you want these things to just flow naturally. The less thinking, generally, the better on the dance floor. And that all comes from repetition, repetition doing it well, <laughs> so it's in your muscle memory. Upper body for this move. Uh, and by the way, in, uh, in local class, I call this the, the quick draw, because it's kind of like, pew, just the name that we created, <laughs> if you want to remember it that way. So, upper body. What's going on up here? Ba, 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 look familiar? It's Cuban motion. Everything is Cuban motion which takes time and a lot of focus to learn, but you can do it. Okay, so we're not gonna go into all those details here. Ba, ba, ba. But I do wanna give you one detail that's a nice little icing on the cake on top of the Cuban motion. When I do this to speed, one thing that I like to add ba, ba, is, let me get the timing. Ba, ba. One and two, okay. I'm doing a little bounce with my shoulders, and this is a fun thing that you may want to add. If this feels too crazy, then don't even worry about it. This is extra, okay? But if you already feel good with this and you want to add the style, then you can add this. Relax with your arms down, and I want you to bring your shoulders up and let them drop. Drop and drop. Drop. Now this is about relaxation. When they go down, I'm not forcing it. That would look like this. <laughs> But I just drop and they kind of have a little bounce at the end because they're just relaxed. So drop and drop and drop and drop. If you ever take a pachanga class, a lot of times they'll start class with drills like this. Drop and drop and drop and drop and drop. Drop. Let's do 10 more together. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, hope I'm recording. Is this recording? <laughs> so, let me check that. <clears throat> yep, we're good. Okay, so this little drop, we're gonna go one and, shoulders are up, two. <laughs> I know this feels very mechanical right now. Just go with it and then you'll get the flow. All right, so one and, Let's see. One and two. One and two. One and two. Okay, so I'm going down on one, up on and, down on two. <laughs> so down, up, down. And down, up, down and down, up, down. Sometimes it's a little tricky to break down the timing when we really slow it down, but it's necessary to understand what's going on. Let's do it again. And one, and two. Okay, you should be saying out loud also. One, and two. And one, and two. Shoulders are down, up, down and down up down and down up down and down up down and down up down and when we do it to speed maybe you're starting to feel that it starts to uh, be a little more natural it certainly feels more natural to me with speed but a lot of times i hear people say oh i can only do it fast usually not the case usually it just feels that way because when it's fast whatever was messed up is quickly gone because you moved on to the next thing. So it's harder to dance slower, but if you can dance slow, that's when you've really got it. 
Here we go. And one and two. Again. One and two. And down, up, down. Let's do the other side. And down, up, down. 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 One more time. And down, up, down. Okay? Both sides together, starting with the left foot. And one and two, three, five and six, seven. One and two, three, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, ha, three, five, six, seven. And one and two, three, five and six, seven. One and two, three, five and six, seven and one. Let's put both parts together. Starting with the Suzy Q on one, or you do it on two if that's what you're doing. And here we go. One, two, three, five, six. Here we go. Continue. Quick draw. Two, three, and five, and six, and basic. And one, two, three, five. Here we go. And one, two, three, five. Quick draw. Here we go. One, and two, three. Five and six, seven and one, two, three. I'll dance on two, basic. One, two, three, five. Here we go. And one, two, three. Here we go. And one and two, three, five and six, seven and one. That's it. Two, three, five. One more time. Go Suzy Q. One, two, three, five. Here we go. And one and two, three. Five and six, seven, basic. One, two, three, five, six, seven, and one. Okay, and then the last part is we have a, a spin to get out of this. So I went ba 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 ba. Turn on the right foot. Boom. Okay. Couple quick. I won't go too much into detail on turning. That's a whole topic again to do nice turns. But a couple details. Okay. Spotting. Spotting is when your head is the last thing to leave and the first thing to arrive, okay? So if you're familiar with spotting, then go ahead and spot. If you're not familiar with spotting yet, don't worry about it, we have plenty of details here. All right, or if we go the other side, it's the same thing. Okay, do your best to keep your head flat while you're spotting. And then another thing about, um, this is a really good one actually, you'll like this, staying on axis. Check this out. If I push my weight up and turn at the same time, then I'm falling here because my hips are flying straight through the air the entire time. But what if instead I bring my weight over the big toe, which is where I want it to be. And again, we're not going to get too detailed into spinning today, but the axis should be over the big toe of the foot and do the entire spin in place, then I'm not gonna fall anywhere. It's under control. So think about this. So let's say we go five and six, seven. I'm not launching up and turning at the same time. That creates a fall. I'll do it from the side. So ba, ba, this is bad. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, instead, this is good. Ba, 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 in place, boom. So it's controlled when I step forward. So to speed, ba, 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 in place, and boom, boom, boom. Okay, so that's one thing to think about with your turning. And then for follows, any follows who are watching this, you're doing traveling turns on the dance floor all the time, like cross body lead, inside, outside turns, ba, 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 da, ba, ba. But same thing applies. I always see ladies falling backwards at the end of their turns. So if you control where your hips are in space and, and plant and find your axis before you start your turn, then you'll have much better balance. Let's put the whole thing together, okay? And then we'll wrap it up here. Let's go. Suzy Q. One, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, and two, three, 
five and six, turn seven and one, two, three, five, six, seven. I'll do it on two, let's do it together. Basic, one, two, three, five, here we go. And one, two, three, five, six, here we go. One and two, three, five and six, turning to the left and one, two, three, five, six, seven and one. All right, I hope you enjoy that. There's so many details in there. So really a good thing to do is go back and watch this many times and do it again and again with me. And that's why in my videos, I, uh, especially in the, the dance chemistry programs, but on the YouTube videos also often, I'll repeat the moves again and again and have you do them with me because it's all about muscle memory and repetition and practicing with good technique, right? It's not that practice makes perfect, it's perfect practice makes perfect. So we wanna get that good technique right away or break the old habits if we need to and repeat again and again and again. So I hope this was really valuable for you. Uh, you can ask me any questions in the comments here, uh, like, share the video, all that stuff. And uh, if you'd like really comprehensive, thorough, structured salsa training that you can do from home, we have programs solo and programs for partnering where a lot of the drills are solo, but it helps your partnering technique, which is really cool stuff. This is like really in depth. Uh, go over to dancechemistry.com and you can look at what we have over there as well. Have a beautiful day and I look forward to seeing you when I see you.